Let's go through another example using standard reduction potentials. I have an electrochemical cell. I have a cadmium anode and a lithium cathode. That is really hard for me to say with my lisp. Lithium cathode. Lithium cathode. I want to know if the cell is voltaic or electrolytic. And I want to know what the total voltage is of the cell. Once again, we'll be relying on the standard reduction potentials found in the text. So let's find lithium and cadmium on our standard reduction potentials. Lithium is right down at the bottom. It is the worst at reducing, which means it's really good at oxidizing. Cadmium is a little bit higher. It's not great at reducing, but it's better at reducing than lithium. So if we look at our prompt, we can see that cadmium is the anode, which means we're asking the cadmium to oxidize. And lithium is the cathode, which means we're asking lithium to reduce. That's not what they want to do in this situation. Lithium is better at oxidizing than cadmium. So these metals are not doing what they want to do. So I expect this should be a non-spontaneous process or an electrolytic cell. We can confirm that if we get a negative voltage. Positive voltages for voltaic cells, negative voltages for electrolytic cells. So let's do it. Cadmium is the anode, so cadmium would be oxidizing. So here's our reduction potential. We're going to flip it. We're going to say cadmium CD is going from neutral to CD2 plus and giving off two electrons. So my standard potential for that process would be positive 0.4 volts. The lithium is reducing. Lithium plus plus an electron is going to go to the lithium neutral with the standard potential equal to negative 3.05 volts. Now you might have alarm bells screaming in your head where you have two electrons in your oxidation process and one electron in your reduction. And you've been trained that you need to balance electrons. It's actually not necessary in this problem. It's not wrong to do it. But if you balance the electrons, let's say that we double the lithium here and double the number of electrons and double the lithium here. That's good chemistry. But electric potential is not like enthalpy. It's not dependent on the number of moles of metal that you have here. So by doubling these, you actually don't double this. These values are independent of the number of moles of metal present. So balancing the electrons is a good thing to do, but not necessary because it doesn't affect your overall numbers. So if we go and find the overall cell potential for this, we just have to do the plus 0.4 plus the negative 3.05 and you get negative 2.65 volts. We have a negative voltage confirming our initial suspicion that this is an electrolytic cell. One final thing, the Zoom dolls do like to show the line notation here and this is something that you would see on an AP exam as well. So the line notation for this electrochemical cell is that you would have cadmium neutral oxidizing to cadmium 2 plus and then we would separate that with a double line to show the lithium plus reducing to the lithium neutral.